Wells Fargo, one of the biggest global financial institutions in the world, has predicted XRP's price. And no, this is not a clickbait video. I'm not just saying this for no reason. This is a fact. And not only did they just predict XRP's price and give an absolutely high value that leaves us excited, but they also give us a timeline to that restricting it to happen between two and seven months and we're going to show you all the proof we're going to show you all the details in today's video that many people didn't so stay tuned watch till the end tap the like button subscribe and let's jump right into it first let's take a look at wells fargo who are they and why are people taking this so seriously well wells fargo is actually one of the biggest financial service companies to exist with a stock price of $46.60 and they are America's multinational financial service company with a significant global presence that operates in over 35 different countries all around the globe and over 70 million customers worldwide. So we're looking at a lot of money for this company. This company is a multi-trillion dollar company carrying transactions all across the world. And what this brings us to, you know, think in our mind is what if Wells Fargo is actually planning on partnering with Ripple and that is why we are getting their directors and their managers to come out and even talk about XRP nonetheless give a price prediction and a timeline as to when it's going to happen it's almost as if it is 100% guaranteed because otherwise they could actually face some legal penalties now I did some deep dive research and this video is going to showcase all of it and I even went back a couple of years back to 2022 because it showcases the real connection between Ripple and Wells Fargo. In fact, back in 2022, and this was, you know, closer to around March 16th, Ripple partner and Wells Fargo worked together to collaborate on a swift replacement. And this is exactly what I'm talking about here. Ripple had held a connection with Wells Fargo for a very long time. And this is clearly cited. As you guys can see here, the Clearinghouse, a known Ripple partner company, is working with Wells Fargo on a cross-border payment system specifically designed to support digital commerce that could potentially replace SWIFT. The system, known as a real-time payments RTP service, would facilitate the real-time transfer of digital currencies between eligible accounts at Wells Fargo. A new Wells Fargo online service agreement has been shared online. The details about how this project could directly challenge SWIFT's dominance is right here in this statement. So it just shows you guys right there that Ripple was really partnering with Wells Fargo from 2022, but there wasn't a real dialect link, which is quite clear because Ripple and the SEC were at this massive lawsuit and everybody was scared that Ripple may lose. But thankfully, the results have come in for summary judgment, deeming XRP not a security, giving almost a clear green light to Ripple that the win for this entire court case is yours. And even if there isn't a win, there's going to definitely be a settlement. Now, we're going to go ahead and actually showcase and go into some of the key details in this article here because I do have some highlighted that I really want to showcase to you guys. So let's take a quick second and go through it. Boom! And Wells Fargo business support manager Shannon Throp predicts XRP to reach a price range of $100 to $500 in the next two to seven months. And this is shocking. And we look at it from a perspective that this is the business support manager at one of the biggest financial institutions around the globe, financial capability up to the moon that could literally partner with Ripple. And they're going public and saying this is is not you know some internal discussion this is not some anonymous source that people are saying is most likely a manager this is her coming out publicly and saying it on twitter and rob cunningham the founder of cowell research recently brought attention to an intriguing xrp price projection made by shannon throb the business support manager at wells fargo the prediction has ignited varied responses suggesting a significant price surge for the asset XRP. Thorpe's commentary on XRP's price projection is comprehensive and thought-provoking, ultimately setting a $100 to $500 price forecast for XRP from September 2023 to February of 2024. She begins by acknowledging the long-standing curiosity surrounding the price of XRP and the anticipation of its utility finally coming to the forefront. Now, here is the tweet by her herself. And this is again, Shannon Throp. I work in treasury management for Wells Fargo. So a huge position, actually high official rank for her to come out and say this. So here's what it says. People have long asked, what will the price of XRP be? When will this utility come? In my opinion, now more than ever, I see a divided XRP army. 
One side looking at only charts, taking cues from the past and trends that follow Bitcoin to draw short-term patterns and short-term price predictions. Last others cling to utility, believing that partnerships and the replacement of integrated systems will drive price. Neither side has been correct, nor in the future will either side be correct. XRP, for those not in the known, is not a security. Why would we continue to pretend it is and make price predictions based on the securities in the crypto space? This logic seems counterintuitive and holds back what the team Ripple set off to do so many years ago. If you dare challenge the status quo, you must first believe in what you own and know that anything is possible. She cites that I have been asked to give my price prediction with no time frame no clear understanding of circling supplier firm dollar amounts that equates to a start all listed items are subject to change and will over time we are just over two weeks from the sec versus ripple ruling one week after the fed now announcement congress has just passed the proposed crypto regulation bill to the senate and we are just nine days away into testing fed now with the bank now bill hill capital has written a whole white paper on xrp's price and i won't pretend to think i know any of that math they did people look at that document in shock and say there is no way most of this is due to your own chart analyst stating it is not in the charts to do that here is a small problem that i actually have with the charts if you set a range for xrp say one dollar to five dollars you're ultimately saying that if one company owned all the xrp yes all the xrp all 100 billion they would have to liquidate or have a liquidity strength ls from 100 billion to 500 billion keep in mind there is a very small burn rate on each transaction regardless of amount this ls does not account for any growth in the economy the action of messaging and settling nor the 24 7 365 benefits we receive using xrp swift handles about 44.8 million messages a day these are just messages not settlements and only half of what xrp can do now let's say that dollar value for swift is seven trillion dollars a day not 24 7 or 365 if ripple through its 10 years of innovation and partnerships were only able to grab 30 percent of swift's value that would be approximately 2.1 trillion dollars in daily value which equates to approximately 13.2 million messages now you may say that xrp settles in one to five seconds and that the liquidity would be there and completely yes settlements are quick however if i were to send over 750 million transactions with a ls of about one dollar that is roughly 10 percent of all that bank's xrp furthermore there is then only one client and there's going to be way more than one client and no one wants to break that 750 million dollars into 750k of $1,000 transactions, each having a burn rate. You still want a price prediction, but let's account for all the banks global. All the XRP that has been burnt, all the XRP you and I own, all the XRP given to all their large banks, and the XRP given to creators. Now, take that XRP that is on the liquidity hubs and exchanges and present an amount that represents a range, but make it simple. If I had to guess 50 to 75 billion XRP at any one time supporting LS, now, spread that across, say, 300 to 1,000 different banks, liquidity providers, and governments. Here's the calculation. $1 times $75 billion is $75 billion. Take that $75 billion divided by 1,000 banks. You're going to get $75 million per XRP slash dollar for each bank and or liquidity provider. Assume all the big banks will have more XRP and that small banks will use more liquidity providers. Assume banks and liquidity providers will purchase from exchanges slash the US and assume Ripple has released all of their XRP from escrow to get to $75 billion in circulating supply for XRP. Now, keep in mind, if circulating supply is less than 75 billion, the price per XRP is exponentially higher. Given LS is roughly $75 million per bank, and JP Morgan being a top tier bank moving more than $8 trillion a day, you know, and say due to service overlaps with Swift and the assumption that Ripple only captures 10% of the market, equaling 800 billion, remember only 75 billion of the total XRP is out there. So there's not much, there's only 75 billion. $1 is not enough to move that kind of money. And let's make this clear that I've been saying this for a very long time. $1 per XRP is not enough. That should go without saying this is just cross-border transactions not derivatives not real estate 
not CBDCs, if you were to include all of this, you're looking at a way higher value. Is it still hard to believe the valuation that Vill Hill Capital gave in terms of their price prediction of, you know, over 500 of 10,000, $15,000 per XRP, not anymore. Now, the part you have all been waiting for, and that is the price prediction that she personally gave, and she, again, is the treasury of literally Wells Fargo, the treasury manager of Wells Fargo. Here is her price prediction. My first prediction is anywhere between $100 to $500 near the short term. And we're looking at four to seven months. Now, the biggest question is, why is it $500 within the max of seven months? Again, shocking price prediction right there. And she says it all boils down to LS. If XRP is at $100 at a supply of, say, only $50 billion, that makes the LS of $5 trillion. And at $500, that gives us an LS of $25 trillion. This gives the market room to breathe. Alas, for growth, insurers no one company needs to own a billion or billions of XRP to perform day-to-day -day transactions and operations. Now, how and when will this happen? How and when, for me, are tied together. It is always has been, and the typical creators that tell you a flip of the switch, I say this is as I believe there will. And has been an evaluation of XRP, I think the evaluation will be like gold. This is how they will price you out. This is what I believe Rosie Rios meant when she stated the train has left the station. And this is how the governments control the next world of finance. Hope this ages well, smiley face. The reality is there. Wells Fargo is most likely going to partner with Ripple. The facts are in front of us and the price predictions are given to us literally by Wells Fargo. Now, I want to make this clear that this is not financial or legal advice. I'm not going ahead and telling you guys to buy XRP because it will actually hit 500 bucks in seven months. Matter of fact, even Wells Fargo, I'd say, in this staff member, is not 100% sure, and this is why she left a little, you know, laughing face at the end and said, I hope this age as well. But the fact is, is that the exponential growth of XRP is bound to happen. The banks are using it. The governments are using it. Who else is not using it? Nobody. Everybody wants XRP. The International Monetary Fund has stated it. JP Morgan has stated it. Wells Fargo has stated it. Everybody has stated it. And it is only a matter of time. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a subscription, you tap the like button, and you share this video to your friends and family. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Peace.